Hey guys, welcome back to Gavin's Garage. Today we're going to be looking at Park World's adapters. This is a Y adapter cord. It's a 5-15P 15 amp to a L14-30R 30 amp plug. So you're looking at the two 15 amp plugs on one side and then a 30 amp transfer switch or inlet box on the other side. So you're going to be able to use two generators with this. So what you do with this plug is you'll be able to use two generators utilizing their 15 amp plug right here. This one right here. So one on this one, one on that one. So really what you're going to be doing is using your two generator, bringing them together. And so you can get to your transfer switch or your inlet box. This, this should plug directly into a 30 amp transfer switch or a 30 amp inlet box going to the house utilizing one two generators so one leg and your other leg will be from this one so we have two different sizes so what you can do is let's plug this into this generator real quick so you would plug one in here you would plug one into this generator and the other one would plug into this generator all right each generator is separate. They will not be ran in parallel. This is not a parallel cable. This is a Y cable, meaning this one powers one leg. This one powers another leg. And then you come right here. Plug into your transfer switch. Let's say your transfer switch is located outside. You could just simply plug that into the wall and you're good. Or if your transfer switch is inside the house, you can unplug these. Plug this side into the transfer switch, get two extension cords, plug them into here and run your extension cords outside into your two generators. But Park World, they thought of this for you. So if you don't want this shorter model, okay, you can actually buy an extended version. Like I was saying, guys, if you don't want to buy the shorter one, you can buy this one right here. This one is 13.5 feet. It is 10 gauge, just like the other one. So this will be your longer one. Longer generator Y adapter cord, 13.5 feet. Let's take a better look at this. You can see, guys, it's really long. It's 13.5 feet. You should be able to get this. Let's take it inside to my transfer switch and show you how it plugs in. Okay, guys, so this is what I'm talking about. This is a 10 switch Reliance transfer switch. So I would just come right here with my Park World. Y adapter plug and just plug it right into this. Find your key and it's uh and what I mean by that, you see the one that this one right here? This one right here on the top. You would get that one on the top, this one right here, and orient them the same. There you go. Twist lock. Then you'll be able to run this all the way outside if you if it's close to your garage door if this is close to your garage door you can actually run this outside 13.5 feet into your generators get this side into your generators or you could add some more extension cords to make it outside if you have a 15 amp inlet box as you can see i have a 50 amp so it's not going to work i can use an adapter if i want to use this Park World actually makes an adapter that will go from this to the 50 amp. So you can plug into a 50 amp as well. So that's the 13.5 feet. And this one's right about probably two and a half feet. Okay, guys. So that's how you use a wire cable. Real simple. Plug into your generator and into your transfer switch. So one thing I want to show you guys is the way the transfer switch works. So all... Five of these would be on one generator and the other leg, five would be on the other generator. So the load would have to be balanced right here. Okay, so that's what you can pull. So you'd say A to E is on this leg and F to J is on that leg. And you can see it right there. Okay, so every time you turn this on, it would, one generator would kick higher, turn that one on, it would jump on another generator, so forth. Okay. So they're not the same, they're actually 
balanced and each generator will be balanced. If you do have 250 volt on any one of these, you'd have to do a lockout. And if you have that, I don't recommend you using it with the uh, 15 amp plugs. You'd have to actually get a generator with 240 volt because it will not be, um, they will not be synchronized and you can't get 240 volts if the generator is not synchronized. So I'll plug this in right here, okay? Plug it right here, then I'll come to my generators. You got the Honda and the Champion plugged in together with the Y adapter plug. And that goes right into the transfer switch or your 30 amp inlet box. Great. I heard something come on. Yeah, you can see this went up a little bit. There you go. So I just turned on some loads. Now you can see the generator just uh, carrying whatever load I turned on. I turned on my refrigerator, the master bedroom, the living room, and the kitchen. And they're both running independently. All right. Okay, guys, that's it. The Park World generator Y adapter plug. This is the 13.5 feet one. Okay guys, just a quick demonstration of the Park World Y adapter plug. You have the short version over here, the longer version, the 13.5 feet version. If your inlet box is on, right on the outside, the short one might work. If it's a little further inside your garage, this one will work for you. Or you can use extension cord on that one, or you can actually use a extension cord on this side going to your um, if you have a 30 amp plug if you have a 30 amp inlet box it will actually plug into this right here guys real demonstration park world generator y adapter cord check for the link in the description if you guys are looking for one of these go hit that description button you'll see the link it'll take you right to that uh park world website or the amazon website so you can get these uh, adapter cords okay guys Thanks for watching my channel. Have a nice day. Bye.